Hello, and welcome to this episode of the Maryland Risk Management Education Podcast. My name is Paul Geringer. I'm the Extension Legal Specialist here in the Department of Ag and Resource Economics at the University of Maryland, and we're happy to have this episode up today. We've been back kind of into a regular flow of every other week of getting episodes up posted, which must mean I have extra time, not extra time, but enough time to get these episodes recorded Um, produced and put up on the site so you're able to listen to them in a timely fashion. So today we're going to talk a little bit about an issue that many of you may not want to ever have to think about, but it is an issue we do need to be aware of and how it could impact your farm. We're not going to go into great detail on bankruptcy today, um, but we're going to look at some of the changes that have recently happened and how they can impact farms. So for those that are unaware Congress recently passed and the president has signed the Family Farmer Relief Act of 2019, and I have a link to this act in the notes um, in the episode if you're looking at this online, and it should show up if you're looking at it on your device as well. This change in the law will raise the aggregated debt limit with Chapter 12 bankruptcies for family farms to $10 million up from the current rate of $4,411,400. This number has been pegged to inflation, so it typically goes up. But there were concerns it wasn't going up quick enough to help farms, and some farms were not getting Chapter 12 bankruptcy relief if they were going into bankruptcy. This increase in the aggregated debt limit will allow for more family farmers to qualify for Chapter 12 bankruptcy as an option and not have to go into some of the other chapters that may not actually work for family farm businesses. So we need to start off with talking about a little bit about what is bankruptcy. The word bankruptcy can often often make us think of a failure, but it is not necessarily the case. In the U.S., bankruptcy is a statutory procedure which allows a debtor to obtain financial relief and undergo a judicial supervised liquidation or reorganization of the debtor's assets for the benefit of the creditors. In the U.S., bankruptcy is a process controlled by federal law, but states have passed legislation to create lists of property exemptions um, from bankruptcy. So certain assets that you own, certain personal property, real property, may be exempt. This list can change depending on the state you're in. Um, In many states, for example, the debtor's home can be exempt from the bankruptcy proceedings. Tools of your trade may be exempt. Um, Clothing up to certain dollar amounts may be exempt. These are things that we're working on a fact sheet to put out to help you better understand how some of this would play in Maryland and Delaware. Chapter 12 is a special form of bankruptcy applicable only to eligible family farms and fishermen and was established in 1986 during the height of the farm crisis. During this crisis, we realized that, you know, the current chapters within the bankruptcy law don't work for family farms. There's really no way um, that, that allows them really to reorganize the business and pay down debt um, without having to liquidate the farm um, in the other type or in the other chapters. Chapter 12 was a way to avoid this liquidation that had happened under chapter seven and a couple of the other um, bankruptcy chapters. And as I said before, we're working on a fact sheet to get out there because we do know chapter 12 um, and other bankruptcy Proceedings are rising across the country, and we're looking at how do we get that information out to producers to better understand this. So why do we need to increase the debt limit? Well, proponents have argued that increasing the debt limit is necessary to keep up with increasing land values and the size of farms over time. If we look at how farms have increased in size over time, you know, the $4 million um, limit may not have worked for most farms. So the idea was we needed to raise it to make it work. Chapter 12 filings have also been on the rise over the past year. According to the proponents of this, increasing the debt limit will allow more family farmers to take advantage and avoid the complex and expensive alternative of chapter 11. The increased debt limits were supported by many agricultural groups, including American Farm Bureau and the National Farmers Union. But there were opponents to this bill that argued increasing the debt limit could have negative impacts on farmers. The American Bankers Association argued that increases 
could increase the cost of credit in the long run. And I'm going to include some of their documentation as to why this was potentially a bad thing for family farms in the show notes as well, because I don't really want to get into all the negatives and all the positives of this. But if the information is out there, um, we do have a basic overview article out there on Chapter 12. It's not fully in-depth. That's coming later this year. Um, but for right now, this new debt increase will potentially help family farms that may be facing you know, potential issues where they need to look at bankruptcy as an option. It's not something we always want to talk about, but it is potentially an option that exists out there that may be able to to work to help keep the farm in business. Um, And if you do need to do that, do have to think about bankruptcy, always make sure you're talking with a bankruptcy attorney. If you have any questions, please email me at lgoering at umd.edu, or you can tweet me questions at aglawpaul. Please email me, tweet me, let me know what issues you would like to see addressed on the podcast. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.